Hello commanders and welcome to the world of Elite Dangerous. My name is Dan Kober and I'm gonna give you a, a couple of short tutorials on how to set up things, how to do some basic actions uh, in Elite Dangerous and stuff like that. All to make your life easier at the beginning of this game. First thing that we're gonna do uh, to make it a bit easier and more convenient is to set up your set up your controls. Uh, I'm going to show you how I have it set up on mouse and keyboard settings. Uh, if you don't want it, you don't have to do it like this, or you can do it differently to your own preferences. But uh, I found this uh, combination of the keys that I use quite convenient and ga gives me a lot of uh, a lot of control over my ship. So first of all, uh, we're going to open the uh, settings menu, options, and go under the controls. And I'm gonna reset this my custom uh, setup and gonna switch it to default keyboard and mouse settings. As I said, this is for keyboard and mouse. Uh, if you have a joystick or HOTAS, then you'll have to set it differently. Uh, so, but I'll show you for this combination because I guess the most of the people who are starting to play the game. Uh, don't initially own uh, some more advanced uh, control systems. So first, uh, what we gonna do? We gonna uh, we gonna do a bit of a change. Uh, your your uh, control to the left and right. We gonna move it from A and D to Q and E. So we gonna have a Q and E. We're gonna leave it all as it is here. Then trust options. We're gonna move to trust to the left. So that would be a sort of equivalent to strifing to the left in the first-person shooters. So we're gonna have it A and D. Up and down. We're gonna switch it to W and to S. Trust forward. So that's your main propulsion. We're gonna switch it to shift and left control. Left shift and left control. So basically what you have, you have your uh, uh, WASD control, uh, controls for your striping left and right and up and down and with your pinky, pinky finger you control the thrust forward and backwards on with shift and control. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, my one mis I did a mistake. Uh, remove this, not trust forward. We're gonna remove this. You click on the option and press escape button to remove the binding. Increase and decrease throttle. We're gonna put on shift and control. Okay, we're gonna leave everything as it is. And here under the uh, flight landing overrides, these are the uh, overrides that will be applied to your controls once you deploy your landing gear. So to make the landings a bit easier, we're gonna apply here thrust forward as shift and as control. Okay, uh, let's see. This option is gonna leave it all as it is. Targeting cycle next cycle previous. We're gonna apply this to your scroll wheel, so you can use your scroll wheel to cycle through your targets. Okay. Primary, secondary, fire group, deploy hard points. Okay. Okay. Ship lights. Cargo scoop, landing gear, okay, we're going to leave all as it is, target panel, okay, here we're going to uh, target panel leave as number one, system panel, we're going to put it as number three, sensor panel, you can remove it because you don't need it, I, I mean, I don't use it, I mean, it's redundant to use it, basically. Comms panel is one gonna leave as it is. Open galaxy map number three and system map number four. 
headlock and this we're gonna leave it as it is and U UI panel select space and back we're gonna put it on the shift if you notice you can have uh, different functions on the same key but they will be active only when this function is, is active so basically this uh, option to use the shift key that we have for our trust main trust main propulsion we can also have it to have a different function once we are inside the user interface mode so you can use the same button for different functions then they won't uh, mess up with each other since they are using different situ situations so let's see and this is basically it okay back to main menu resume now you're in your ship we have the controls set as they are and I'm gonna guide you through uh, leaving the station using this control setup that we just did so first of all you use your uh, WASD controls to navigate user interface so you have starport services you press num space that is gonna open that space is activate like okay okay and your shift is back so uh, by pressing the shift you go back so we had uh, mapped number one on of an American part of the keyboard to target panel number two to system panel number three will open the galaxy map and number four will open the system map and shift takes us back back so under the target panel you use Q and E to switch tabs like that and you use V W A S D to move up down left right and space to activate and shift to go back so again shift to go back now we're gonna start the launch procedure press space and we're going out and we're gonna wait us wait a bit now since we have mapped the keys uh, as W is up S is down and A and D are strife left and right we're gonna hold W initially so Ship if we raised. go up Engines engaged. if we press S we go down up down A we go left D we go right we don't touch the mouse yet because with the mouse we have tilt up tilt down and roll left and roll roll right and Q and E is turning the ship left and right the reason the roll is on the mouse is because the ship can roll faster than it can turn and it can pitch up and down faster so in the combination with the roll and pitch you can turn in the direction you want faster than by using just rotation it is it takes a while to uh, get used to this control but trust me it's much more convenient and faster way to control your ship and it's a uh, most similar way to use it as you would do it with the joystick so I would definitely recommend it to leave it as it is some people do tend to switch this uh, uh, roll to the keyboard uh, and uh, uh, what's good pitch r uh, yo control to the mouse but I prefer it like this if you like you can set it up as you prefer so basically we are now about the landing pad where we started and we have to go out we have three more minutes to leave the station so gently we're gonna move upwards and forward if you notice the uh, as I press the shift ship goes forward as soon as I release it the ship will stop because we still have our landing gear deployed and that's one of those uh, landing overrides so basically 
the shift and control act the same as your trust on WASD controls so you press the shift you go forward you press the control you go backwards but if we uh, retract our landing gear landing gear do it right now if I now press the shift the trust will remain and the ship will go constantly the speed I set it up so we're gently gonna increase our speed and target the opening and leave the station slowly using Q and E I'm doing a correction to my course so that I don't hit anything and go nicely outside and we're gonna increase the speed completely scan detected okay now we can press using the X key we're gonna set the speed to zero and we're gonna leave the ship till it reaches the zero and we are floating in the space now we're stationary and we're gonna rotate it a bit around to see where we are so here's the station that we just exit. Okay. Now you can play around with the control to get a bit better feeling for them. Like that. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the landing procedure right away. So to land on the station, what you need to do, you can't just go inside because the station will then destroy you for trespassing because you don't have a permission to land you have to do is press n key number one on your alphanumeric part of the keyboard that opens the left panel that's targeting panel they go then go under the contacts and on your contacts select the station that's Matthew's Olbers dock press space to open the menu and request docking Docking request granted. It looks like a lot of things to do for just a landing procedure, but uh, soon enough you will get uh, the hang of it and it will look something like this. And you got landing procedure request sent. Docking request granted. So it's gonna show you again cancelled. And I'm gonna request it again. Request it. Docking request granted. So it it looks like a lot of things to press, but it's quite fast actually. So we're gonna land. Uh, to land on it, you have to guide your ship to this small open opening in the station. And uh, the procedure that I use, I approach the station with some speed. And when I'm somewhere approximately at 4 kilometers away from the station, now I'm a bit closer, I deploy my landing gear. And I continue the same speed until the landing, landing gear, gear deployed. is deployed. Because the then she will automatically slow down to landing speed and then you can use your W, S, A and D controls to position yourself directly to the opening. And as soon as you're close to the open, press X to set your speed to zero. And then using forward and backwards thrust, go gently inside. Now in the middle, you can see it, uh, with the blue letters, it says proceed to landing pad 6. Now to locate your landing pad more easily, if you notice, I'm gonna focus on it this uh, between the main uh, ra uh, main radar the display and this green cube that is that uh, represents the station there's a small circle it's it's called the compass on it is a bright blue dot and this dot represents the direction you need to turn your ship to be facing the your current target. So our current target is our landing pad and to face it so we have to turn a bit to the left and down and here it is our landing pad number six. If you can if you notice that this 
dot is full blue, so it's full, it, that indicates that your target is ahead of you. But if we go beyond it, you will see that it will change to empty circle. Okay, here it is, it has changed. And this indicates that the target is now behind you. So now we are facing exactly the opposite way from the from our target. This is important thing to notice because it will help you navi na your navigation quite a lot and make your wandering around uh, looking for what you need uh, less often. So we're gonna turn around again and let's see where is our landing pad. Here it is, number six. Important thing to know about landing. I'm gonna move ahead. Navigate around this orca. Okay, here it is, number six. The important thing to know is the direction you need to land. You need to land it in the way that number on the landing pad is always on the opposite side of the landing pad from the side that you approach it. So this numbering, I'm gonna turn around a bit just a second to show you a bit better. So you can see the number is on the far left side, so the, at the back of the landing pad. So we have to approach it from this side. Like this. Okay, someone is obviously trespassing this station and it, it has been blown up. Okay, now using a shift and control, we're gonna thrust ourselves forward till we reach the, till we get close to the landing pad. Now you can see at the bottom, uh, landing assistant has, the assistant has been activated, and it shows you small representation of your ship and the target where you need to position your ship. Uh, now we are dire directed above our landing pad and using S key we just gonna trust slowly down till we successful. dock Engines disengaged. and that's basically how you dock on any kind of landing pads now we're gonna leave our this station and I'm gonna show you how to travel to some other destination and in this case, we're gonna travel to one Ship released. Uh, smaller station that doesn't have an entry point like this one, but Landing it's fl freely floating in the space, and you just land on it directly from the outside. Okay, now to go to a destination. Uh, you can select your destination on the left panel where you have a list of all the things that are in the current system or at the bottom are closest star systems that you can jump to but to better see what you have in the system we're gonna open the system map which you have here on the in the left corner or pressing the key 4 as we mapped it we can open the system map zoom out a bit <coughs> we are current currently at Matthews Olbers dock and we're gonna travel to Arai platform so we're gonna exit and we're gonna find Arai platform platform here at our list and here it is and click lock destination that's it pressing the shift we're gonna turn back now you can notice again on this small compass the blue dot has been sh it's shown and we have the representation of the station we are going to 
Now we have to turn our ship to the left and align with our destination. Now that we are more or less aligned, we can press J key frame shift drive that charging. Inici initiates our frame shift Four, drive. Three, two, one, engage. So the frame shift drive we use for two things. Uh, to travel between the stars and to travel inside the system. Currently we are traveling inside the star system. So you can see, looking around. Uh, by pressing the middle mouse button you activate this mouse look option so you can look around. And by pressing it again the view will focus at the center. So currently we are accelerating to towards this array platform. And it's uh, currently 4,370 light seconds away. <coughs> uh, our ship will continue to accelerate. As you can see, we just have throttled to, to full. And under the, di uh, under the distance from the platform, you have the time needed to tra travel to that platform and if you can see it's decreasing as we speed up <coughs> now has uh, now it's slowed down because we have passed the orbital uh, line of some planet so the gravity has slowed us down a bit but it will start to accelerate soon and time will start to drop down And basically, when going to some uh, some destination inside the system, you just keep the full speed at full until you reach uh, some 10 seconds till your destination, and then you d decrease your speed to the middle of this blue bar that you can see on uh, the throttle indicator, just at the right of the main rather you will see when I started the, uh, to start to slow down I will place it in the middle <coughs> that's your optimal approach speed so 15, 14, 13, 12 now we're gonna put it in the middle and it's gonna still continue to fall down but it will stop at approximately five or six seconds and it will stay at and we can accelerate a bit more now that we, if you can see that time is almost constantly seven seconds it means that you're at a good approach speed so you won't overshoot or it won't take you ages to reach your destination I just keep you're heading towards your destination and watch that your speed that your time doesn't drop drastically so if it starts to go quite low you will overshoot your target so going on <coughs> now on the left side you can see distance and speed indicators these both of them have to be in the blue area to safely jump out of the frame shift drive so we're gonna just continue ahead until they both in the blue area yeah just okay we have the speed in the blue area now we just have to wait till the distance is in the blue area okay and now we can press J to jump out of the frame shift drive and we are at our destination now we have arrived to this platform and we're gonna dock on it we're gonna pr slow down a bit i'm gonna press number one to open our target panel go under contacts select RI platform press space request docking docking okay. request granted now if you see the orange here in the middle the docking pad has been lightened up and we're gonna approach this docking pad that's 
bed number one. Okay, we don't need to deploy our landing gear yet. And now we're gonna deploy landing gear and slow down to zero. Landing gear deployed. And press X to slow down. And now we're gonna slowly by pressing the shift approach the landing pad. I'm gonna go down a bit. Go ahead. Uh, now we have the landing assistant is activated. Now we're gonna just align with the center of the landing pad and go down. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. And that's it. We successfully traveled from one station to another. Now for the end of this clip I'm gonna show you how to travel to different star system. I'm gonna deploy from this small station. You'll notice we are directly in the space so we can just go directly up, retract the landing gear, gear and speed up. Now let's open the galaxy map. We're gonna press number 3 to open the galaxy map. And now you you have your own. This is your location. Ignore this red icon above. It's just indicated that I have that I have a ship stored in this system. Same as th at this hip uh, one eight five two seven. So if you don't have a ship in some system, then it won't have this red icon above it. But this Jita is our current system that we are located in. And we're gonna travel to this system for example. Or now let's go to Kamito. Uh, under the navigation tab you have the option for most economical route or the fastest route. I would suggest using the fastest route if you have enough fuel and don't plan to to travel somewhere economically because the fastest route will give you the distance to a system in the least possible jumps. So we're gonna select Kamito like this or you can plot your route for example if you go somewhere that's further away if you pl press plot the route it will plot the route that you need to follow. But actually let's do that. Let's go travel to this system. So we're gonna do we're gonna have to go through Kamito to get to uh, um, yeah something. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Uh, so yeah now we have plot our route. We're gonna exit. Now we're gonna get a marker to jump to Kamito first. Just a second, let me check it out if we did have it uh, like this. Okay. Well, actually, it's some other system. Never mind. Oh, yeah, we didn't go to Kamito. <laughs> Kamito is this one on the side. Sorry. Among child, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's the one that we're going now first. So it's the same as we did uh, when we were traveling to this station. You align with the selected system and press J. Frameshift drive charging. The frameshift drive will charge now. Uh, if you have a throttle reduced. Ready it will say that you need to throttle up to be able to jump so and two, now we are going one, to jump to the next system Uh, 
and here we are. Now, as soon as you arrive, you will arrive at the star, and you need to instantly move away from the star, or you're gonna damage your ship. So instantly move away, so you get some distance from it, and your uh, frame sheet drive needs to cool down also. Now, again, using the small compass, we're gonna align ourselves with our next jump destination. Uh, there it is, and we're gonna press J again and jump to the next system. Here we go to our final destination on this small trip. Since this sidewinder that I currently have uh, is the starter ship, it has quite a limited jump range, but you can upgrade it later on. But that will do, I will cover the upgrading and other things in a different video. So, yeah, now we are in this new system. And we're gonna open the system map to see what we have here. Okay, we have a two, one big station and two smaller ones. And Jackward Orbital. Yeah, we're gonna go to that one. Open target panel, Jackward Orbital, log destination. And it's actually almost behind us. You've seen that on the small compass it was an empty circle. So we go now. Oh, we are a bit too fast. I have to slow down and move away till I lose some speed. Five seconds, six seconds. Okay, we are good. We are good. Now we're gonna speed up a bit till we get to optimal, optimal approach speed. Uh, and I'm gonna give you one short tip here to. To jump in front of the station at the right side so that the open the station is facing you, then I have to look for it. We're gonna go a bit away towards the planet and then we're gonna approach the station from the planet side. So we do it like this because usually the opening is facing the planet uh, that station is orbiting. So it's gonna be a, make your landing a bit easier since you won't have to spend time trying to find where the opening is. Now we're gonna slow down and here we are. Jump out. I have to wait for a bit to, to load the 3D model of the station. And here we are. Here we have the opening right where we wanted it, we didn't hit it completely face on, but we're here. Now we're gonna ask for docking. Docking request, request. granted. Okay. We're gonna use a boost, that's top button on the keyboard, that's your boost. Okay. Landing gear up. Throttle to zero. Landing gear deployed. Now throttle to zero now. And now using the shift and control, we are gonna navigate inside. Nice and easy. Going a bit down with W and S. Now we're looking for pad number 27. Then again using the small compass, we gonna easily find it, rotate to it, approach, release the throttle to slow down, and nicely Talking land down. Successful. Engines disengaged. And that's it for today and this short beginner's tutorial. Um, in the next ones I'm gonna cover the basic of how to earn money, how to fight some system management uh, and I'll go through outfitting your ships uh, what you can upgrade and 
stuff like that so for now this is it thank you for watching and if you like this video please like it and you can also consider subscribing to be up to date with the new new releases and new tutorials and all other new stuff that I upload on YouTube game related or not thank you and signing off bye bye